In today's video, I thought it'd be fun to walk you through from start to finish exactly how to create a YouTube video. So if you are new to creating videos, you are going to love this. I'm going to not skip any steps and I'm going to let you know all the tools that I use in order to bring videos to life. If you're new here, hi, I'm Louise here on this channel. I talk all about growing an online business. So if that is something you are doing. Definitely hit subscribe down below. Okay. So the very first step is to choose your topic. There are two tools that I use for this part, keywords everywhere and TubeBuddy. So I'm going to go over to YouTube and type in the topic that I'm thinking about. As I do that, I'm going to see different topics suggested to me. And I'm also going to see exactly how many searches per month that term is getting. So this is incredibly helpful information and it's going to help you create videos that people are actively searching for so that you can hopefully rank for them. TubeBuddy is another helpful tool, which is going to give you like a little grade and let you know the likelihood of your channel being able to rank for that term. So the next thing you need to do is outline your video. Now, when I first started creating videos, I thought that it was best to script them out, use full sentences and like really plan in detail like that. The problem is, is it took way too long and I was less natural on camera. You could definitely tell that I was attempting to remember my script. So now instead what I do and what I recommend you do is simply use bullet points to outline the general topics and key points that you want to make. This is going to make it much easier and faster for you and overall come across much more natural. Next thing you need to do is get ready to film. So for me, that means hair and makeup and trying to look put together. Okay. So makeup is all done. Hopefully, you think it looks good. Um, I suck at makeup. So, you know, we <laughs> do our best. Next thing we need to deal with is my hair. So I took Charlie for a walk this morning and got rained on. And just in general with my hair, I, I just kind of hope for the best. After this, you want to set up your equipment. So here's what I use. The first thing I'm going to grab is this stand right here so that the angle is better when I'm filming. So I like to keep it simple and use my Logitech webcam. You can also use your phone as the camera quality on our phones have gotten so much better. Okay. And then for microphone, I use this one right here. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It is so good for recording both YouTube videos and also any podcast interviews you're doing, or if you're an online course creator like me and you need to film lessons, this mic is so great and it's really going to remove any background noise. So this is the Shure MV7. Absolutely love it. And I'll leave links for everything in the description below. Okay. So I put my laptop on the stand like that. And then I just take my webcam and hook it right on the top. Okay. This is hard with my left hand. <laughs> okay. There we go. Then I have one of these little guys here so that I can connect everything. So I plug this part into my laptop, plug in my mic and webcam to this, and then I'm good to go. So this is my office here. Generally, it's a bit brighter, but it is rainy season in Panama, as you can see. So I do have my makeup stand lights on as well. Generally, you'll have a great light if you place yourself in front of a window with natural light or close to it like I'm doing. So that combined with the window definitely gives me all the light that I need in this space. If you do not have any natural light that you're happy with, then you may need to buy a ring light like this or some softbox lights like this. So obviously it is a lot of work to put videos together, but videos are going to help your business so, so much. And it's going to be content that is going to live on. So this is content that could still be bringing you leads and sales in like five years from now. So it is absolutely worth putting in the effort to creating videos. Now it's time for you to film so you can keep it simple and you can use QuickTime if you are on a Mac 
or you can use the tool Loom. So I use QuickTime if I'm doing just face to camera like this, or I'll use Loom if I want to share my screen with you guys and have me uh, in a little circle, bottom left corner. <laughs> This is really convenient if you want to have both your face on camera and your screen share at the same time. So as you're filming, do as many takes as you need. So I'll hit record and I'll take it section by section. I'll say my point over here. If I've got it, then great. If not, I'm simply going to take a breath and do it again. There's so much that you can fix with editing. So this is the way that I do it. And I just string together the good shots after. So after you've done your filming, it is time for editing. I keep it really simple and I use the free tool iMovie, which is free if you have a Mac. So I pull all the clips into there and then I edit out all my mistakes and make it look like a cohesive video. I actually just did another video walking you through exactly how I edit my videos, how I add any graphics or animations and so much more. So I will leave a link to that video in the description below. Another tool I wanted to mention at this phase is Epidemic Sound. So this is where I find any music that I need in my videos. You will find a variety of genres and moods, and you're going to be able to add it to your video and still monetize that video with that song. So yeah, highly recommend that tool. So once you've finished editing your video, you're going to export that file. So I simply export this file at the highest quality that I can. And then I use the tool handbrake to compress it. While I'm waiting for this, I go into the tool Canva to work on my thumbnail. I'm obsessed with this tool. I have tons of videos showing you how to use it because it really does allow you to create any graphic that you could possibly need in your business. Standard rule of thumb when it comes to your thumbnail is to have an engaging photo, have one that evokes emotion, have clear text explaining what the video is going to be about and have it be easy to read. When it comes to thumbnails, what I actually like to do is go onto YouTube, search my topic, and then look at the videos in the top results and see what their thumbnail is and see what I can do to make mine stand out from that. Okay, we are almost at the end. So the next step is to upload to YouTube. So you're gonna take that file, you're going to upload it, and then there's all this information that you need to fill in about your video. So your title, your description, and your tags. Here, I use TubeBuddy because it helps me out with the tag process and lets me know which tags are actually being searched for. Okay, you made it to the end. So after this, all you need to do is share out your video and don't do what most people do, which is really just put like one post or one story out there promoting the video. Try and do more than that and really get your content seen, especially in the first 24 hours. So you can do an Instagram post, you can do a few Instagram stories, you can email your email list. There's so many things that you can do there to get exposure to that piece of content. And not just in that first 24 hours, make sure that you are using it throughout the next month as well. So really what we're trying to do here is just make the most out of every video that you do create. Another thing you can do is you can take your video and you can repurpose that and turn it into a blog post on your website. This is something that I do. If you are going to do this, I would use the tool Temi so that you can quickly and easily get a full transcript of your video. And I would share that transcript below your video on your blog. So there you have it. That is how you create YouTube videos start to finish. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if creating YouTube videos is something that you are going to be adding to your business. I would love to hear more. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you real soon with another video.